Hi there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to answer teacher behavioural interview questions. So if you are applying to become a teacher and you have to attend an interview, I can guarantee there will be a large number of behavioural interview questions that are asked. And it's your responsibility to give the interviewer specific situations you have previously been in where you are demonstrating the key skills and qualities required to be a competent teacher. So to help you in this tutorial, this is what I will cover. I will give you a list of teacher behavioural interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I will also give you great answers to challenging teacher behavioural interview questions to help you succeed. I will also give you some interview tips to help you be the standout candidate during your teacher interview. And finally, I will tell you about further resources you can get access to in order to help you succeed. So there's four reasons why you should stay tuned. Now, just very quickly, before we get started, a very warm welcome to my teacher behavioural interview training tutorial. My name is Richard McMunn. That is me there in the centre of the screen. I've been helping people for the last 20 years to pass their interviews. I always do that by giving you top scoring answers you can't find anywhere else. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the content I upload. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. And please do make sure you give the video a like because that tells me you find the content useful and I know, therefore, it is worthwhile me creating more for you. Thank you very much. So the first teacher interview question I want you to prepare for is explain a situation you were in when you had to persuade either a student, a colleague or a parent to see your point of view. So this is a difficult teacher interview question. Now, this is, as I said at the start, a behavioural interview question, and it is assessing your communication skills and your persuasion techniques. So here's a strong example answer to help you pass your interview. Here we go. During a parent's evening, a father expressed his dissatisfaction at the standard of teaching his daughter was receiving. He explained that the progress his daughter was making was not, in his words, sufficient for her level of ability. I listened to his comments carefully. I took notes as he spoke and I then asked him clarifying questions so I could fully understand his concerns. Once he had finished, I started to address each point with facts and evidence. Once I had explained everything to him in clear detail, he agreed that his assumptions were incorrect and that his daughter's performance to date was in line with her ability and that she was in fact making good progress. I then gave him my work email address and asked him to contact me directly in the future if he had any further concerns or if he needed any questions answering. So that specific situation shows that you are able to listen to somebody's concerns and then you are able to remain calm and address each of the points with facts and evidence. And you are also then providing um, the person with your contact details. So if there are any further concerns, they can contact you directly. So that's a very strong, solid answer. Now, you can either pause the video if you want to and take a note of the questions and answers as we progress together. Or if you want to wait, I will tell you where you can download my full set of teacher interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. The next teacher interview question is, tell me about some innovative teaching methods and techniques you have used. Now, to be an effective teacher, you will need to have a variety of different teaching styles and methods that you can draw on. You will need these simply because all students learn in different ways and some subjects, as you and I know, are more complex than others. So here is my suggested answer to the teacher behavioural interview question. Tell me about some innovative teaching methods and techniques you have used. For many years, I've been a strong believer in students working collaboratively together in groups. This allows the student to build up strong communication and teamworking skills, which are two very important skills needed in life and also at work. For example, during a recent complex lesson that involved the understanding and application of challenging English words, I asked the students to work in groups of four to produce answers to quiz-based questions I had created earlier. 
During the group exercises, I walked around the classroom and monitored the progress of each student. I listened to their contributions and I provided direction when needed. I particularly enjoy group exercises because I believe they enable the student to contribute in an environment where they are supported by the other students within their team. Group exercises also allow for an element of competition amongst the groups, which helps develop passion, urgency and enthusiasm for tasks. So that's another really strong answer to help you with your teacher interview. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have many more questions and answers to work through with you. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, where you can download my full set of 22 teacher interview questions and top scoring answers, including all of the ones we are working through together today. But here's the next question. Describe a situation where a lesson didn't go according to plan. What happened and what did you do? Now, this teacher behavioural interview question assesses your ability to think on your feet, be flexible and adapt to challenging situations. These qualities are essential if you are to become a competent and effective teacher. So here's my example answer to assist you. I was asked to cover a lesson at short notice for a class in a subject I was familiar with. Their teacher was off sick, but I was confident the lesson would go according to plan simply because I had many hours experience teaching this subject. However, during the lesson, it became clear the class were not as advanced as I initially thought and my method of teaching was not suitable for where they were academically. I had made a mistake and I wrongly assumed the students would be at a far more advanced level than they were. I had to quickly think on my feet and thankfully I had an old lesson plan ready to go on my computer that was suitable for their level. Of course, if I had not had an old lesson plan available, it would have been much more difficult to adapt. I learned a lot from that situation and I never made the same mistake again. So that answer demonstrates that number one, you can think on your feet, you can adapt to different situations, but also more importantly, you are demonstrating integrity because you're being honest about a situation where you made a mistake so you're being truthful, but you are also pointing out that you will learn from all situations of that um, aspect, that element. So it's another strong answer. The next question. Tell me a time when you utilised effective classroom management techniques. Now, one area you will need to excel in as a teacher is classroom management. In your answer to this tough teacher behavioural interview question, show you set high standards from the get go and you can communicate with your students in a confident and influential manner. Here's my suggested answer. When I started teaching at a previous school, I was made aware the class I was responsible for were particularly unruly. However, I am a strong believer that effective classroom management can be achieved through setting boundaries, building rapport with the students and empowering them to dictate what is good and what is unacceptable. At the start of my first lesson, I spent 20 minutes discussing classroom behaviour, what my expectations were and the benefits of a productive, engaged and communicative class. I then asked the students to talk to me how they felt about classroom behaviour and what we could do together to ensure the boundaries were maintained. At the end of the 20 minute period, I'd built up a good rapport with the students, which I was then able to build on moving forward. Although we had occasions where the boundaries were crossed, I was able to go back to basics and remind everyone of the agreed classroom behaviour standards we had set together at the very start. That is a brilliant answer because it shows that you are able to think carefully about classroom management and also set standards from the get go. The next teacher interview question is, Describe a time you had to manage a large workload whilst under pressure. Now, in my personal opinion, most people have absolutely no idea the workload teachers have to handle. They do not know the pressure teachers are under. Teaching is, in my opinion, again, an underpaid job. They do a fantastic job in society. Now, this interview question is assessing your ability to meet the demands of the teaching role through previous experience. So here is my example answer. To help you. I was getting close to the end of the semester and a teacher had to take a period of leave due to personal reasons. This meant she was unable to mark the mock exam papers her students had recently sat. I volunteered to do this work for her because nobody else was suitably qualified at the time in the subject area. On top of this, 
I had my own regular teaching work to contend with and prepare lessons as usual. I managed the extra workload by assessing my own teaching schedule, by estimating how much time I would need to mark each paper, and then by allocating a set period each evening after work to mark the papers. Although this was hard work, it was important I put the needs of the school first because it was vital the students had their mock exam results so their progress could be monitored at the end of the semester once their teacher returned to work. At the end of a 10-day period, I had marked all of the papers and successfully completed my own workload too. So that shows that you are prepared to do extra work, but also more importantly, you can put a plan of action in place to make sure everything gets done and you achieve your goals by making sure the papers are marked to the right standard and you also are able to complete your workload too. So it's a very strong answer. Now, the next thing to do is please do click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Go through to my website at passmyinterview.com and take a look at the 22 teacher interview questions. And you also have the option to download all of the answers, including the ones we have worked through together today. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, connect with me on LinkedIn and also give the video a like. Thank you very much for your support and I wish you all the best for passing your teacher interview. Have a brilliant day.